Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Libra. Now, you can have Libra anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart, baby. I'm hearing anywhere. Libra. This message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, and leave the rest for somebody else. So right away, they wanted me to stop as I was shuffling and look at you. There is conflict. Some of you guys, you were dealing with conflict or you're currently dealing with this conflict. And it might be mental. Maybe somebody puts you in conflict. Some of you guys, it's physical. You know, they just put up mm, too many traps in your life. And they thought God wasn't going to see it is what I'm hearing. But they want you to remain in this energy of the queen of coins, baby. Because Libra, you are very prosperous, baby. Claim it. You, you have the Midas touch right now. And if you're not on that level yet, you're about to push through this energy shift, these full moons. Because I heard it was Virgo season, baby. And the moon, you know, moon cycles. And this is an earth sign. So, baby, you might have... Virgo somewhere in your chart or maybe dealing with Virgo or just embodying this energy is what I'm hearing but for some of you guys this is going to resonate in different ways I'm getting a few different kind of stories God is bringing justice into your life baby because I'm hearing you was built to last baby mm, put it in the comments baby I'm built to last baby you, you overcoming these struggles, these battles. And they want you to trust in your intuition, baby. Trust the process. Fight through these negative energies, baby. Some of you guys are fighting powerful wars in the spiritual world. The spiritual realm is what I heard. And they want you to laugh. They want you to laugh and somebody's going to be like, well, how the hell do I laugh through the process of me being in this spiritual warfare, baby? By trusting, trusting in God, the universe, your angels, ancestors, whoever they may be, that God will handle this situation. They want me to keep showing you this. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I know. But they want you to laugh and be grateful and know and just trust that God is, God is handling this situation, baby. And that you will get double for your trouble. Because I'm hearing God is about to bless you for going through this double for your trouble, baby. Put it in the comments. Claim that energy. So let's get into this reading. Because I'm channeling right now. And it's deep. And some of you guys are dealing with the ex that is causing a lot of this conflict. Not realizing that they are just racking up some karma. Because, baby... You, a chosen one, is what I'm hearing. And I'm just hearing something about some of you guys going, dealing with the ex, and you guys saying promises, promises, promises. This particular ex or ex that you were dealing or lover, whoever it may be, however it may resonate with you, might have promised you a bunch of situations or, or promised you a life or something. But you're realizing this person was just a page. See, your ancestors, God, your angels are telling you this telling this person you need to shape up baby but see you're seeing how much of a page they are they can't even hold the sword straight of truth they look like they want to come backstab you so some of you guys are dealing with that <laughs> with the backstabbing ex lover i'm hearing and if this is a sibling yes you have a lot of love for this particular sibling but they might backstab you look at the way they're holding the sword it's the sword is like huh Look at this. But you have you have protection. They're going to be they they have been showing you is what I'm hearing. And look at this as I split the deck justice baby. You you Libra, you you coming out of your own reading. Oh my God. Some of you guys are seeing feathers or finding feathers. Some of you guys are finding the truth. Some of you guys are finding that clarity that you needed to keep moving forward. And some of you guys are saying that promise, promise, you know, and you feel inside your heart that God has promised you clarity, has promised you freedom, financial freedom in all areas, and that you're very grateful. You're walking in total faith, and I'm hearing in fear, you're fearless right now. 
at one point, if you're not, if you've overcame this at one point, you were, you were struggling. And I'm hearing this ex saw you struggle. And for a lot of you guys, Libra, if you were dealing with the cancer, put yourself in whichever role you need to be. But you actually helped this particular person when they were down. And when they came for you to receive that help, they turned their backs on you. And see, God seen that. See, God, the universe has a funny way of placing scenarios in our lives. And a lot of people think that since you're going through that test, that spiritual awakening, that it was something you did wrong. And they turned their back on you. They gossiped about you. They slandered your name. I am hearing. But see, God, source, the universe, saw everything that they were doing. The truth. This is the king of sword right here. Look at this. The king of sword. And this person tried to hide behind the veil, baby. Yes, I might help you. No, I might. I'm not going to help you. But see, God seen it all. And now they see you moving on, Libra. They see you having this power of self-love and forgiveness. And I'm hearing you learning to discern the voice of God, baby. Put it in the comments. If this is you, this is deep. This is powerful. And by you learning how to discern the voice of God and self-love and forgiveness, it's bringing a tower, baby, to these people. It's karma. Seven on the clock, baby. And I'm hearing the devil. For some of you guys, I'm channeling this message. There was a tower moment when the devil came to you and wanted to take your soul, baby. But this soul is not for sale is what you told him. And it was a tower moment because the enemy, the devil is what I'm hearing. This lower energy entity that came for you hit a brick wall. And this is for my spiritual gangster. This, this reading right here is for my warriors. There's something about you that is so powerful that the devil thought you were be you were going to be able to sell your soul, but they hit a brick wall because I'm hearing this soul is not for sale, baby. Put it in the comments, baby. And you might have been dealing with the Aries, a Leo. I'm hearing Pisces, a Scorpio. But you that I'm talking to right now that's listening to this video, what you don't know and what's hidden is that you are a healer, baby. Yes, indeed. You are a healer. And I'm hearing for that ex or for that particular person that hurt you, God gave them plenty of time to right their wrongs as they saw you struggle. And this, this is kind of piggybacking off the Gemini. So some of you guys might have Gemini in your chart. Or you need to go check out that Gemini. You will find a message in there that is going to bring you clarity is what I'm hearing. But you have an ex, because they were dealing with the ex that just put them through hell. That is realizing that you are a chosen one is what I'm hearing. I had to stop. They're realizing how powerful a, the blessing of God is over you or the favor, however you say it. And you, Libra. You're realizing the blessing behind these betrayals. And it's bringing you joy. Because I'm hearing you were built to last, baby, to overcome this. You're the generational curse breaker, baby. And I see a lot of you guys laughing. And overcoming these difficulties. This ten of swords, baby, you laugh through them now. Look, you might have been scared. The demons might have been coming after you. But... I'm talking to my Libras. They did not sell their soul, baby. You stood in your emperor energy, baby. And this could have been an Aries that wanted to control you. It could have been a father figure or a mother figure or somebody with authority. But look at you. Mm -mm. 
God is calling justice, baby, in your favor is what I'm hearing. If you're dealing with the divorce, baby, God is about to cut some major cords through this divorce. And, and Libra, if you're going through a situation where your partner, your ex, if you have zero contact and they took everything from you and you're waiting on this divorce and they put you through so much pain, you might have left with nothing on your back. It might look like they're winning, but I'm hearing justice is going to be in your favor. And this divorce, God is about to cut that energetic cord, baby, because you was the blessing. You was the blessing. And they're going to learn. It's like God is almost teaching them never to judge a book by its cover. Baby, because mm -mm. they're about to feel that karma. 1055 on the clock is what I've seen right now. They want you to look at that angel number. You will get some kind of message behind it. People love your energy, Libra. Look at this. People love your energy, the love that you, the healing you provide. <laughs> and we did set a Pisces. So this is the energy you went within, Libra. I'm hearing you went within. And you did a little bit of searching for clarity. And it might have been a little foggy. But you got that knowledge. God gave you that clarity. You're receiving the clarity right now. And you understand. While you were in this process, I'm hearing. You understand when God says no, baby, it means no. And you have no problem with it, baby. See, because God communicates with you. I'm seeing an eight right there. God communicates with you. You have, you have this energy that people love. And my spirit team is saying to protect it, baby, to to choose wisely, to put up your boundaries. Because you're going to have somebody from your past that is going to want to come in with communication. But they haven't done the work. They have not done the work. And they want to prove themselves to you. And look right behind this. They want to prove themselves to you. But this is the devil. The same devil that wanted your soul. Are you going to give up your soul, baby? Put it in the comments, baby, because you realizing the blessings behind this. You put God first, the universe. And God will handle it, baby. I'm hearing God will handle it. I'm hearing this song, Real Love, from Mary J. Blanc. You're searching for some real love. And some of you guys, 1313 on the clock, baby. Some of you guys are what? Y'all need to check 1313 for a little But some of you guys, it's going to resonate with this real love from Mary J. Block. Some of you guys is going to resonate the love that you have for the divine, for God, source, the angels, ancestors, however, whoever you prayed to. And for some of you guys, You learn self-love and the forgiveness as we spoke earlier. And now you have all the tools, baby, to create anything you want or to accept anything coming in. You're about to create real love and you're about to call in and manifest real love. Your equal give and take. Your equal give and take is what I'm hearing. Look at this. I pulled this deck right now. Look at this. And they're going to come towards you with much love. It's not something you're going to have to bleed love or prosperity. This is going to be a team right here. Love. Look, this person is going to come with love. And it's going to be somebody that's going to be able to work with you. Not somebody that's going to bleed. <laughs> bleed you dry is what I'm hearing. You guys are searching for some real love. All right, let's see what the universe has for you. They want to prove. They want to prove themselves. I don't know. Libra, put 
Put it in the comments, baby. Are you going to allow them to prove anything? Some of you guys are like, hell no. You already learned your lesson. I'm moving on because I'm built to last, baby. They thought they were going to tear you down. But God is bringing justice into your life, baby. Mm-hmm. Let's see, what do we got for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Value yourself is what they're saying. You value yourself more. That's a lot of cards. Hold up. Man, they want somebody's going to want to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. Look at this. Two cards fell out. Two cards fell out. It says, Yeehaw. It says, when it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend valuing their yee quality above all others. Have it your way. Special order doesn't upset us, the universe. So look at you. Libra, what do we talk about? You're searching for real love, baby. And you have your expectations. You putting up your boundaries and you know what you want. And you're calling in and manifesting. We said manifesting. We saw the magician. As you should, baby. Claim this. And the next one's you know what to do. You know what to do. You manifest it. In all battles of the heart over the mind, go with your heart. Because truly, it's a lot easier for your mind to catch up with your heart than for your heart to catch up with your mind. A whole lot. Not that I don't love your mind, the universe. Look at you. Look at you using your discernment. All right, we got a spiritual message for you, and that is going to be it says, Courage is knowing it might hurt and do it in anyways. Stupidity is the same. That's why life is hard. Ooh, let's see. Let's see what it says. And here we go. What is the difference between courage and stupidity in your life? Question. A big part of adulting is not crossing the line where your rebelliousness turns into recklessness. The people who ride this line most gracefully usually have a clear eye on their values and a good friend or two who will tell them when they're being a dumbass. If you can't decide if you're being brave or stupid, call a friend. Hint. Don't call a dumbass friend, though. <laughs> I was about to say Gemini. Some of you guys need to go check out Gemini. But Libra, that's what I got for you, baby. Put it in the comments, baby. If this is your energy, claim it. Justice is yours, baby. Smile. I'm here. Keep on smiling, baby. It's all you. Hit the like button. Share. Subscribe, baby. Help my channel grow. Infinite Tarot 888.